hello and welcome back once again to the jeffers it service academy this is the lesson eight in the creation of our school management system using microsoft excel and microsoft word in our previous lesson we look at how to set up the teachers emis data table like this so in this lesson we are going to look at how to set up the fees payment database table using microsoft excel so if you are new to this channel if this is your first time watching this video on this channel then kindly subscribe to the channel make sure that you share this video with your friends don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all so that whenever we upload a new video you will be able to receive the notification and come to this channel and watch all right so don't also forget to drop your comment in the comment section if you have any question that you want to ask please you are free to drop your comment in the comment section don't also forget to like and share this video with your friends and family members so without wasting much time let's quickly create a new sheet so we click on the plus sign here then let's name it fees payment database table so fees payment database table so we have it there so just tap on enter key it's let's right click on it like this to give it a color so we give it this color i think this color will be ideal for this lesson so let's come to this side let's begin to enter our details here so let's start from five let's start from number five here then admission number so adm number like this then we move to name so you enter the name like this then we move to class then we move to gender like that then the next thing that we are going to take is the admission date so adm date like that then the next thing that we are going to take will be the fee so fee like that then we move to installment we are moving to the installment now so we are looking at the first installment the second installment the third installment and then the fourth installment so installment one like this installment one then we move to installment two then we move to installment three like that then we move to installment four we are moving to installment four so you enter it there like that please make sure that you follow the video from the beginning to the end don't skip any part of this video because if you skip any part of this video you may not be able to understand all that we will do in this lesson so after the installment four we are moving to receive we are moving to receive when you pay your school fees there should be a particular section that will indicate whether your money that you sent into the system has been received or not then balance the amount that you are owing then the last one that we are going to is the status like that so we are done entering our details into this particular table here so let's try to adjust adjust these details a little bit let's try to expand some of the columns and reduce some of them too as well so the name like this let's try to extend it then the class we adjust this one to small then the gender we adjust it a little bit then we come to date of admission let's adjust that one to a little bit then we move to fee so let's add s to this one so fees then we move to the first installment let's adjust that one 
so installment one then we move to installment two like that then we move to installment three then we move to the last installment that is going to be installment four so you left click and hold then you drag it to that side then receive amount received so we try to expand that column to then balance we expand it to that side then the last thing is the status the status of your payment okay so now we are going to do the necessary formatting so let's highlight all like this let's select all of them let's select all and give them a special formatting okay so let's come to the home tab like this then we change the font style to times new roman then again we make them bold then we come to center like this so let's try to increase the font size a little bit i think this is okay so let's try to expand some of the columns again because of the font style that we 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 selected to use for this particular lesson so let's try to expand them again then we come to this one to we expand installment three we need to expand that one to then installment four we need to expand it then receive amount to receive so let's come to that side i think this one is okay so that is it basically we are done with that one too so the last thing that we are going to do there is to give it a background color so let's give it a background color i think this color will be ideal for this lesson so let's try to change the test color so let's make it white good so we have it there nicely we have our test color there too nicely so that is that we are done with the heading of this particular uh, table so the next thing that we are going to do is to select all in our previous lessons on the student emis data table we selected 500 people we, we said we have 500 people in our school so let's try to select all these then we drag it to 500 let's drag it to 500 let's make sure that we have exactly 500 people okay so let's try and make sure that we get a space for exactly 500 people but don't forget that we use five of the spaces at the top so let's add that one so 505 so that we will not face any challenge using this particular system okay so now let's try to give it a background color so let's give it a background color i think i think this color will be cool i think this color will be cool okay so let's go back let's undo this action and let's select it once again so let's start from here we select it like this we move to the last one that is going to be the status then we select up to 500 so let's scroll to 505 instead 505 okay so we have it here so let's try to oh shit let me do it again let me do it again so you select all like this starting from here to the last end then you drag it to 500 so we have our 500 here okay so that is it so let's give it a background color the background color is supposed to be something like this i think this color is cool then after selecting the background color let's change the font style to times new roman here like that then you click on enter then let's bold them let's center them then let's give them all bodies 
let's give them all borders so you select it like that then we have it there so that is it that is how you add all borders to a table like this now the next thing that we are going to do is to insert our buttons we are going to insert the various buttons that can help us to uh, move back to the home page and the and the heading of this particular form so the name of this form is fee payment uh, database sorry the name of this table is fee payment database so let's quickly give it a heading fees payment database okay so after writing that in there the next thing that you need to do is to select it from here you select from this side the last end here then you drag it to the last end of the form like this so let's try to do some formatting there let's change the font style of that particular uh, heading there so we give it bold then we come to merge and center good so let's try to increase the, the the font size let's try to increase the font size like this i think we need to reduce it a little bit so we have our heading there up and running let's scroll and see how it will appear good so we have it there up and running now the next thing that we are going to do is to give it a background color so let's try to give our heading a background color and let's select this color here as our background color and let's try to change the font color so let's change the font color to white so we have it there nicely so i think our table is having some nice shape now so the next thing that we are going to do is to add our buttons we need to add our buttons that can help us to navigate back to the home page and the button that can help us to check and update our fees okay so let's go to insert let's search for shape and select this shape you can select any other shape that you want to use for this particular thing so you left click and hold then you drag it to whatever you think is okay for you okay so we have it here like this then you right click on the button there like this oh shit so you right click and edit test then let's give it a name check and update fees so check and update fees like this so check and update fees so let's highlight everything here and let's format it okay so let's go to the home tab and change the font style to times new roman then we bold it then we come to this one we center it okay so we try to increase the font size a little bit so we have our button here now let's go to format then let's select a particular format for this button so click on the drop down here then let's select a particular format that will make our button look nice so i think this color is okay for our button so we have this button to here now it's left with another button that is going to be the home button the button that can help us to move back to the home page of this particular system so let's quickly come to this side let's control c to copy then control v to paste so let's drag it to the last end of the table like this let's hold it like this and drag it to the last end of the table okay so we have our button here the next thing that we are going to do is to edit the test inside so let's name it home like that so we need to reduce the size of this particular button so let's reduce the size of the button good 
I think we are good to go. So let's bring it to this side a little bit. So we have our home button to the now. The next thing that we are going to do is to give it a hyperlink that can help us to move back to our home page. So you right click on the button, right click on the button like this and let's come to hyperlink. So click on it, then make sure that the place in this document is selected. Then you click on home because we want to go back to the home page of this school management system. So let's click on OK. So when we click on this particular home button, it should be able to take us back to the home page of this system. OK, so let's go back to the form. Let's go back to the table and see the necessary actions that we are going to take. Okay, so let's check and see if there is any other correction that we need to do before we end this lesson. Okay, so that is that. Basically, we are done creating our fee payment database table using Microsoft Excel. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all so that you can be able to receive our next lesson so in our next lesson we are going to learn how to design the interface of the admission receipt that is what we are going to learn in our next lesson so until our next lesson i say thank you very much for paying attention to this lesson